Hi, I'm Michelle, and welcome to Unicorn and Centaur. Today's video is the highly requested DIY glitter gel video. Yeah! I'm going to show you how to make your own glitter gel and show you how the DIY version stacks up against two commercial products. I recently ordered some glitter gel from Davis, and I was sent some glitter gel from Twinkle as a free gift with my purchase from them. So suddenly I had two glitter gel products to compare. So I was just going to do a video comparing the two different glitter gels, but as I'm working with them I'm like, hey, isn't this just glitter and gel? Then I remembered a while back watching a video from Lisa the Budget Equestrian about making glitter gel. So I looked it up and sure enough, I had seen the video before. The recipe is literally just hair gel and glitter. <laughs> Y'all, oh my God, we're paying too much money. This is too cheap and too easy. I didn't even bother mixing it up in a bowl like Lisa did. I just pooted some dollar store hair gel in a plastic baggie and dumped some glitter in there and squished it all around. This part is so satisfying. If you like tactile, sensory kind of stuff, this is your project. This is your jam. I didn't measure it when I was doing it, but I seemed like I used about an ounce of hair gel to about two tablespoons of glitter. My apologies to my non-American viewers for the archaic measurements, but I don't know how many grams are in things. <laughs> I'm sorry. Seriously though, measuring is the least important step in this process. Hair gel, glitter, mix, done. It's not that deep, sis. So once it's all smooshed together in the bag, you snip off a little tiny corner of the baggie and pipe that into a container. I use these little squirty bottles I found at the dollar store in the craft section. Shake it up. Now it's ready to paint on your horse or your own hair and it's time to sparkle. No, it doesn't suck. In fact, it works at least as well as the commercial products that I had it up against. I tried them all out by painting Lucky Charms marshmallow shapes on my horse, Sunny. <laughs> the blue diamond on the left is done with Davis glitter gel. The green clover on the right is done with Twinkle glitter gel. And the pink heart in the middle is my DIY stuff made with dollar store hair gel and biodegradable cosmetic grade loose glitter. The DIY stuff wants two coats for full coverage, just like the commercial products. There really is no difference in performance. Now the Twinkle Glitter Gel was a little bit patchier, but it also caught the light better. And that is because it used a chunkier glitter in its glitter gel, which you can fix yourself if you want a chunkier glitter, just buy a chunkier glitter and mix it with hair gel. Jot that down. <laughs> You already know the answer is yes. You probably already have hair gel and glitter in your house right now, so go make some. What are you waiting for? Don't have a container? Just take off the cap of a tube of hair gel and dump some glitter in there and shake it up and you're ready to go. Glitter up your life, honey. If you worry about glitter in the environment, I have some biodegradable cosmetic grade glitter for sale by the ounce in my Etsy shop. There is a link in the description box below to that. If you need a source for glitter, I could totally hook you up. And if you're wondering what else you can do with Earth Friendly Glitter, check out this video that I made on how to get the ultimate glitter hooves on your horse. And if you have not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It makes the unicorns happy. Thank you for watching and have a magical day.